As Lexington police looked for clues in that case, they were also investigating a shooting at an apartment on the same side of town. Police say a man was shot inside his home at an apartment complex near the intersection of Red Mile Road and Horseman's Lane this afternoon. As Monique Blair tells us, police couldn't find a sign of a break-in at the home. Lexington police tell me when they got here to the University Trails apartment complex around 2.30 Tuesday afternoon, they found one 24-year-old male victim suffering from one gunshot wound in his stomach. The victim was taken to UK hospital and Lexington police spent several hours interviewing possible witnesses. There were a couple that were in the area at the time. Police are looking for two male suspects along with a silver passenger car. Other than that, details are vague, so police are hoping the victim can provide them with more information on who shot him. He was conscious and talking to us, but we just we just really haven't had a good time, a good chance to sit down and talk to him and try to get more details. Rowena Sweeting walks by this apartment complex every day, and although she says seeing police activity isn't common, she still takes steps to make sure she is safe. Either if I have somebody with me or I'm going somewhere close or, you know, have my phone with me at all times, so in case anything happens. Police tell me there was no sign of a break in at the victim's apartment, leaving them to believe the suspects and the victim may have known each other. That's what we're trying to find out. What, how did these, these people and him know each other. We don't know if they're acquaintances or they were let in or what the circumstances are yet. Now, this apartment complex is privately owned, but Lexington police tell me UK does rent out several of the units here. And although several UK students do live here, police are not sure whether or not the victim is a UK student. In Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. Police say there was someone else in the victim's apartment when the shooting happened, but that person is not considered to be a suspect at this time.